Hi guys, I'm on my way to Tallinn, capital of Estonia. Today I want to see a very special building. And that is Linda Halle. It means the city hall. It is a dysfunctional cultural and sports event building, a multi-purpose building that is uh, situated on the waterfront right next to downtown Tallinn. It is a very unique structure. It was built in the late 1970s for uh, the Moscow Olympic Games. You might wonder why anything that was built for the Moscow Olympic Games is located in Tallinn. It is because of sailing events uh, could not be hosted in Moscow and Tallinn is located in the sea. It was a great location uh, to host the sailing events for the Moscow Olympic Games. So today I want to explore this building because uh, last year a number of articles discussed uh, the situation of Linda Halle in Estonian media and um, it is a very important structure right in the heart of the city but it's in devastating conditions so the Estonians want to refurbish it and the project should start in 2020, so this year. And uh, I'm afraid this might be one of the last chances I have to see this beautiful building in its, uh, in its decayed status. So I invite you to join me on this adventure in Tallinn, Estonia. <laughs> On the right hand side of the port, it is a big, uh, slightly decayed, uh, fully graffitied concrete sarcophagus. That is Lena Holly. I'm headed there today.
As you can see, the building itself is fenced off because uh, it's in a very bad condition. So uh, last year, um, the decision was made in July that Tallinn would uh, renovate city, the city hall. They project that the project will last for about three years. The building itself generally is in a, is in a very bad condition. It's, it's on the verge of collapse. It's almost falling apart. It feels when you walk around this gigantic structure that is kind of a haphazard design that was not very well planned and definitely there's not a lot of intuition in it. I've been thinking today, how do I really feel about this building because I'm not sure about it. It's a little bit complicated. It's different than what you would expect from a socialist building built in the late 1970s, early 1980s. One of the problems one well, of my problems with the city hall is that it's so spread out. It's not a very functional space. It's more like it's more like a sprawl, a sprawl building. It's very difficult to navigate it on foot. It's very difficult to to walk around it. It's so big. I understand there was a concept behind a building, but at the end, I feel that uh, the result is not very appealing, and I'm I'm. I feel very bad about the opinion, so no wonder that some architects label this building as failed architecture. From a historical perspective, I feel that this building failed its mission. And one of the reasons is that it enforces the negative stereotypes of communism and communist architecture. It's inhumane, it's highly technocratic, it's difficult to navigate, it's monumental, it's Promethean. It's not human phase, it's not for humans, it's for the ideology. The way Linda Holly connects the cityscape with the natural environment and the waterfront is also questionable. It's so spread out, it was built, many people find this building undesirable. On the other hand, I think that this building is a very important place of memory because it commemorates some of the ideas that communism was standing for. They may be not the most appealing ideas that you have ever heard about, but they belong to the history of the Baltic states and they belong to the history of the Soviet Union and hence they belong to the history of humankind. And so Linda Holly is a representative of those thoughts and um, I'm grateful that the city of Tallinn has decided to renovate this building and I'm looking forward uh, to the reconstruction project that will unfold for three years uh, starting in 2020. It's freezing cold so it's my time to get some glue vine. See you guys.